perfect so i have my chicken breast tenderloins i bought them from the store let me pull this skin back i pulled it off on all the other ones i thought i pulled that back already so um you can buy you know the whole chicken breast if you like and do all that slicing and dicing but let me tell you something I ain't feel like it. So I bought, I paid for the convenience. You know what I'm saying? And I changed my knife here. Perfecto. Mm hmm. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, now if I was not going to uh, cook these in an air fryer, um, I would actually use buttermilk and soak them inside of buttermilk. Um, but you know, I'm using egg white today. You know, as you continue to watch, you'll see how I'm going to batter the chicken. Um, and that's because I'm using my air fryer. I'm trying not to deep fry my food as much right now. Um, if I can cut back, I am going to cut back. And this is one way I can. <laughs> I mean, this air fry is beautiful. I have the uh, Instant Pot, the Vortex, and it is freaking amazing. When I tell you everything comes out exactly how I want, like no matter how thick the, the meat is or whatever I put inside, um, of course you can follow the cooking times, but if you know that you're putting a, you know, a heavy, a thick piece of meat or something inside of there, you can always adjust the cooking times to what you know is best. And of course, check on your food just like you would in the oven or in um on the stove you know because cooking times can change i don't know it's weird <laughs> you're like dang potatoes up there it normally take me down with 20 minutes cooking pork chops and you burn them <laughs> you know all righty let's chop those good so i'm gonna give y'all some different angles this time you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying now i'm gonna go ahead and rinse this baby off and we're gonna season up this chicken and batter up baby all right, so now we get to season our chicken. So for the chicken, you can start with whatever you want to start with. I do have my seasonings lined up here. Let's see y'all. There we are. You should be able to get a good look. All right, so we have Creole seasoning. Go ahead and put that in. I have garlic powder, just a little sprinkle because I'm actually going to use some uh, fresh, pressed fresh garlic. I have Italian seasoning. Go ahead and shake that in there. I have paprika. All right. Beautiful. I have some onion powder as well. Go ahead and put some onion powder in. Black pepper. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> you have to have fun in the kitchen, man. You have to. Adobo. You have to. It is literally a must, okay? And now I have here my presser, and I'm going to add a garlic clove, smash it, let's add another, push it down. If you wanna see how it pushes out. If it falls, great. If not, they have a roller here that you can use, and you just see if I can turn it for you all. It gives me trouble sometimes, y'all, but you just push it down. It's either going to be a push down or pull up. Make sure you're not looking into a camera and you're paying attention on your aim. And you won't get half in the bowl and half on the countertop. <laughs> it's all good, though. Let's go ahead. We lift this up. Take that out. Let's get our next clove here. Press it in. Use the rolly. Here we are. These are some big garlic chunks or uh, cloves. That is what's going on. I did pick the large ones and I don't care. I could have picked the smaller ones, but I wanted more garlic. <laughs> All righty. Let's put the last clove inside. Mmm, beautiful. All righty. Pull it down. If it falls in my hand, oh well, as long as it's inside. All I have to do is pick it up and throw it inside of the bowl. Now, let's go ahead and mix up the chicken. Let's throw this away. What to do is, for the camera, I will put gloves on. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and mix the chicken. Now, I am an eyeballer. If I'm mixing the chicken up and feel like I need a little more, then I will add more. You know, it definitely season to your preference. Um, I love seasoning, so, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and mix it. It should be okay, but if not... Then I'll just add more. <laughs> you know what? I don't think I put my chili, um, chipotle chili powder, pepper. Let me go ahead and add that. I do like to have a little kick. 
Alrighty. Yes, I did. Reuse the same glove. Yes, I did. She did that. <laughs> yes, she did. Alrighty, so this looks good to me. Alrighty, and now again, I'm, well, now we can go ahead and season the flour and the egg whites. Alrighty, let's make some room for the next couple. <laughs> so now we have here our egg whites. Go ahead and shake it up. I'm going to pour that inside of bowl B because A is chicken, B is egg white, C is going to be the flour mix. Okay. All right, I'm struggling here, guys. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pour some of the egg white inside. That's definitely more than enough. And now we're going to go ahead and season these two. So what I am going to use is the Creole seasoning inside of the egg mixture as well as the flour. I'm also going to add garlic powder into both. Okay. Black pepper as well. Okay. I'm going to add Italian seasoning and I'm going to also add some more of my chipotle chili pepper inside because i do like it a little bit spicy now if you definitely want spice you can always add like a chili oil or sriracha to the chicken itself and that'd be actually i think i'm going to do that that sounds no nah, i have the kids over if i didn't have the kids i would have done it i'm thinking for the kids here so we can have a hint of spice but we definitely can't have it you know overpowering because then we're going to be upset they don't eat their food <laughs> now inside of my dry mix i also have some baking powder I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking powder into here, as well as two overfilled teaspoons of cornstarch. Dramatically overfilled. <laughs> Alrighty. And beautiful. Mix the flour first. Mix it good. Do, 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 do. Beautiful. And I'll go ahead and mix your egg white mixture as well. Perfect. So we're going to go A is the chicken, B is actually going to be the flour mixture, and C is going to be the egg white. I'm saying that because I'm going to dip it twice. After we do the flour, then I'm going to add panko crumbs to the last coating of the chicken. And yeah, so let's go ahead and dip them in the flour here. I want to do so much because you definitely want to be able to shake it and make sure they're all coated. The first round doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, it can be close to perfection. <laughs> Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Now I'm actually going to put like, I'm gonna overfill the egg wash only because I want to be able to get as many done as possible. I can always stir it inside of the egg whites because that second coating, again, I wanna add the panko crumbs to, um, to the flour mixture. So I wanna to try to get it as empty as possible, get all of the chicken through. And that's what's most important, to get as much through as you can. They all should be able to fit back into that bowl. If we have to add more egg white, then we will. Uh, we definitely wanna get that first batch all the way dipped. Or, you know, if you like, I just like to save dishes, y'all. <laughs> if you would like, you can always make a, a fourth bowl, which will be the flour and the uh, panko mixed together. So you can go dip, dip, dip. Um, you can always do that as well. Um, but there's going to be flour remaining. Most likely, if not, then oh well. But there's normally flour left over that you can just add the panko to. And if you need more flour, then you add the flour. Um, first of all, so you don't have to wash an extra bowl. Second of all, so you can save, you know, money because flour is money. <laughs> just be wasting you don't want to throw away a whole bowl of flour alrighty so that's the last of the chicken again I'm gonna go ahead and mix it good in here alrighty now after I get them all inside of the uh, panko then I'm going to go ahead and preheat my air fryer the air fryers don't take long at all 
to preheat so i'd rather wait that way um that also you know lets the panko sort of sit a little bit longer and that's always a good thing <laughs> okay she so shake them off well sorry these gloves are loud i know i'm gonna invest in some gloves y'all Y'all have to bring people over to my page, you know, so your girl can start making money, then she can buy better things. But right now, this is just like something I like to do. <laughs> this is something I love to do, actually. So, you know, I talk about it all the time. I wanted people, you know, my life is sort of shifted with this uh, coronavirus. So, you know, um, I live in Florida. So in the industry I was in, the hospitality industry, we were sort of out of work since February. So it's definitely been a year for me to just reflect. And I was like, you know, if I can't do what makes me money right now, I'd rather do what make what I love to do since I feel like I have a second chance to start doing something I love to do again. So I'm excited about this blog. I've been wanting to do this for years, as well as I re-enrolled in the school. So I started in January, so I'm excited about that. So I'm saying that to say, guys, when life is unfair to you or, you know, life sort of makes twists and turns that you do not expect, you are going to have to deal with it. Um, it does suck, but as soon as you accept it and the quicker you accept it, the quicker you'll be able to evaluate yourself and find things that you love to do. And it's sort of like finding yourself again. It's like, oh, shoot, I forgot how much fun I had. Like, I legit, I'm, I feel like it was a blessing at the end of the day because I'm literally doing something that I love, love, love to do. Um, and hopefully one day I do hope, you know, that I can make it doing this and it just feel really good to be someone out here, you know, and I can tell that as a dream, like, do you like literally do you and watch what happens and, you know, you don't compete with the next person. Um, it, it's don't do what the next person is doing because it's already being done. There's something about, uh, about being authentically you. Um, when you're just yourself, people accept you for you. You don't have to uh, be that person that they believe you are. You legit can just be yourself and they love you for that or they hate you for that. But mostly people love you and accept you as long as they know you're being you. Uh, even if you think you're fooling the world, you're not fooling the world. You're only fooling yourself when you think you're acting like someone else and being accepted. You know, uh, just just be yourself, man. Anyway, okay, so I have pain Planko crumbs. I'm going to go ahead and put that in with the flour mixture just eyeballed it um and i'm gonna add just a tad bit more of creole seasoning okay and a little bit of black pepper and that's actually it go ahead take our whisk and we're going to stir it again here i'm gonna go ahead and put on some new gloves we'll get that second coating started and we will preheat all right let's do the thing y'all go ahead and look at me being all heavy hand I'm about to make a mess <laughs> you're gonna go ahead and flip that chicken well so everything gets nice and coated inside of the egg whites um, I'll try to stop talking when I'm using these gloves because I know it's really loud alrighty yeah you want to get these coated really nice continuously flip them um, to make sure each one did get to soak inside of that egg wash okay perfect and we're going to transfer the chicken back into this mixing bowl little by little then we'll fluff it around and make sure they're all coated now we're going to go ahead and fluff inside of here let's mix them up get them nice and coated before we add more Okay, alrighty, perfect. So let me get the rest of them in there. And again, if you have to add more flour, then you add more um, into the mix. But you might as well eyeball eyeball it so you can save your money. You don't want to just waste things if you don't have to. We waste enough things already. Um, so yeah, if, if you can tell, all I did was I added the panko. But, you know, I might need more flour. It does look like I will be needing more flour. And at that time, I'll go ahead and add the flour, you know? But sometimes, you know, because I don't know about you all, I don't measure out. When I'm frying food, I definitely don't measure out the flour. Um, so, you know, sometimes you're spot on and sometimes, like this, you're a little off. But it's all good. Let me go ahead and get that flour in there. Uno momento. I want to add more panko. Not much more, but a nice little... Tap, tap. A little bit more black pepper. 
I'm gonna add a little bit more, literally lightly seasoning with the um, the chili powder and the Italian and the Creole, but you definitely wanna add more to it because you want that same flavor throughout. Just take your little hand and you can sort of just mix it just like that. Perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and finish our chicken tenders inside of the batter and we will put them inside of our air fryer <laughs> you put them down you don't want them on top of each other you want to lay them by beside each other so once you do toss it um you're making sure you're getting a nice even coat all the way around You know, they stick on to each other, then they can fry together just that way. And then it'll be, you know, you had that one piece that it just has way too much batter, seems like, in between the two chicken tenders. That's how that happens. So now we go ahead and toss all of the chicken, get it all nice and coated well inside of this mixture. It's definitely enough. There we go. That's a nice flip there. Again, so you see how I'm pulling apart as I'm tossing? because you know they will start sticking together so you want to make sure as you're tossing you are pulling apart to make sure you get flour in between and also when we line it as you'll see inside the air fryer if i feel like we need more on a certain piece you know like say this wasn't coated then i'll just take it from the bowl and press it you know so that's what you're doing as well you're, you're, you're you want to press it in you know all right air fryer Set it for 10 minutes, start. Bam, see when it's preheated. As you see, it says, add a food. <laughs> let's do it. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and open this baby. Beauty is, it silences itself once it opens. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do, I'm gonna spray a little bit of non-sticky cooking spray on the bottom, and I'm gonna lay these babies in. I'm going to get as many as I can inside. Okay. Oh, yeah. These are nice coating on. Everything been sitting. Mm-hmm. Like, see here? Go ahead and just use your hands. And, guys, I wash my hands. I'm home. I'm not at your... I'm not at a restaurant. I'm not cooking your food. I'm cooking for my family and myself. So, leave me alone by the gloves. Leave me alone. <laughs> I tried. I tried to do it the whole video, but I need my hands, guys. I do. I need my hands. I need my hands. Yes, I do. I need my hands. Yes, I do. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. I want to get the ones that are coated nice. right in top there I'm sort of gonna fill this thing in I'm gonna put as many as I can and then we'll finish in that second batch okay let's get as many as we can in here I love this air fryer it, this air fryer is free wait till you all see if you all are thinking about getting an air fryer let me be an advocate for you this thing is going to change your life all righty so now what we're going to do from here let's go ahead and add more of that cooking spray on top now when it tells us to turn later we're going to actually add i'm gonna pour real extra virgin olive oil but for now just make sure you coat it really heavy um, on the bottom and on top and once we flip it then we'll drench it with some of our extra virgin olive oil there we are we put it in and it's going to automatically do the timing for us all right it says saying turn the food let's go ahead and pull it out i was just about to start uh <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to flip these babies well before we flip let's grab some this is actually extra virgin olive oil i'm gonna drench it all righty and we're going to flip these babies look at this 
perfect perfect as I told you all before, I've been a server like most of my life. So I don't have fingerprints. Like when food is hot to me, it'll probably like make you cry. So this is hot. Please use a tongue or a fork or something. Uh, but again, my hands can tolerate heat. Okay. So I'm gonna, let me do me. Okay. Let me just do me. You do you. I do me. Okay. All right. Let's flip them all. Beautiful. So we have them all flipped over. And I'm going ahead and add a little bit more of the spray. Okay. And I'm going to add more of the bottle as well. Alrighty. And we're going to put these babies back inside of our uh, air fryer and watch it just starts where it left off. Wham it, bam it, and, and, and sam it. I don't know. <laughs> Now we go ahead and take our chicken tenders out. And from here, I'm just gonna lay them on my cutting board to tease myself. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the last, of the, these are so perfect. Do you see this? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is literally toss these in some buffalo sauce or barbecue sauce and make you some fresh nuggets. Alrighty. 